welcome, welcome. I'm in full avatar mo mode here, as you can see. If you've seen my avatar, I'm just missing my jacket. That's probably it. Welcome to Aceville, Ace Your Videoville. We're here to talk about, well, there's some big news. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. But we're here to talk about vulnerability on camera and why I'm going to take these off because there's probably a glare. Who knows? But we're going to talk about vulnerability on camera and why you got to do it, why it's hard and things that drive me crazy because really <laughs> it's my show. All right. So vulnerability on camera. One all right, you know how these entrepreneurs, and there's, there's lots of people now, they are the thought um, gurus out there. They're the ones we go to, and they're also put together. They look like they came out of the womb put together, okay, like quaffed and already spitting brilliant marketing material. They, they, didn't come out of the, they didn't come out of the womb like that, I promise. They worked really hard at their message, and they... They worked, no matter how good they are on camera, no matter how comfortable they are on camera, they worked very hard, I'm spitting, they worked very hard at presenting themselves to you in a way that you get them, you feel them, and they only did that by being vulnerable, by really showing their inner self, their inner truth, and connecting with you through video. And you know, like reading a teleprompter. Reading a teleprompter is not very easy, but when you, as you move up, as you move into this world of creating like marketing videos, not live videos, but marketing videos, let's say opt-in videos, homepage videos, um, launch launches, you know, if you have any sort of a, a course online, any sort of a thing that you're selling and you're, you're launching this program, you're gonna need these higher end videos and you might have to read a teleprompter. And that simply takes, it's doable. It's doable. It just takes practice. Just practice. Because eventually your words become more comfortable to you or even your copywriter's words become more comfortable to you and you can present them authentically. The real you comes through and you have to. Because we can't be like Alex Trebek on his, uh, what is it? Not the TV show, the commercial. I just saw Alex Trebek on, I think it was it could have been an incontinence commercial, but I think it was insurance. And I didn't believe him for a second because he was just the spokesperson. He was just kind of pitching this thing and telling you to buy it at the end. And I, I didn't believe that he gave a crap about me or whatever it was he was selling. I thought he probably made a pretty penny being on TV that, in that, right? God bless Alec Trebek. I don't have anything against him. Love Jeopardy. My husband's fantastic at it. But, but the truth is you can't you can't be selling yourself or, or, you know, pitching your course or your business or, you know, if you're a coach or even a fitness uh, coach, you know, I'll turn away if I don't feel like you're, if I feel like you're just showing off your booty, right? I don't want to see it. But if you're showing me your booty so that I can get a booty like that, that's what I, <laughs> that's what I'm going to watch. And that's what I'm going to connect with. So, so that's kind of my feeling about of authenticity on camera. Now, a lot of times we have trouble. So whether you're reading a teleprompter or you just get nervous because you feel like you have to do this and you don't want to do this and why am I staring at the back of my iPhone or this camera or whatever. The only reason that you're nervous is because you are subscribing to internal thoughts that have nothing to do with why you're on camera. Right? The truth is that the reason you're on camera has nothing to do with every freaking doubt that goes through your mind, every picking apart, every judgmental thing that you start saying to yourself, nothing, nothing to do with it. That is over here on channel two and we are on channel four. Good stuff on channel four. Channel two, you can't do two things at once. So you can't be sitting here thinking about how crappy you look, how bad you sound, how fat you are, how short you are, how beautiful you are, how whatever you are, you can't, or wh where your children are, <laughs> you know, hopefully you got a babysitter. You can't be thinking about all that stuff and still be authentic on camera and not be nervous. That, that will make you nervous in a second. I love bleeping myself out. That will tie you up, give you frozen face. That's frozen face. That's what happens when you get really nervous on camera. Some people, not everybody. All right, I'm just gonna check in, make sure nobody needs me here. 
because then I'm going to tell you my big news or if anyone has any questions about being authentic on camera. I find that, I will tell you this, if you've ever considered doing live video and you haven't done it, do it because every time I get set up, I get nervous, <laughs> but I get excited. It's now I do. At the beginning, I was just nervous and it was something that I was like, all right, I need to do it. I need to get out there. I need to show people who I am, why I'm fun to work with, you know, how, how you can work with me. And then I started to just, you know, talk about my feelings about this business and about what I'm doing. And live video has allowed, has allowed me to become even more comfortable on camera than I was before. I've basically become really good friends with you. Whoever you are, wherever you're sitting, I love you. You know what I mean? That's, that's what this does. And you become so much more comfortable just through practice. It's, that's the 10% that you can't get away from. 90% is in your head, that all that judgment, but the 10% of you is you practicing and doing the work and showing up to do the work. All right, so, oh, look, there I am. Uh, I'm a little shiny, who cares? All right, so the big news, big news today, the big news today is that I, as you may have known from the Dolly Parton song at the beginning, have given my notice at my nine to five. What does this mean? What does this mean? Tell you, I'll tell you something about me. I have been in the freelance world for many, many years. I've been basically as a filmmaker, as an actress, a, pro a producer, a director, a writer, stand-up comedian I have been a freelancer right so I don't work for very long for if I have a day job but two times I've taken day jobs the kind of day job that might suck your soul if you let it those two times that I took a day job the first time was after 9 well I, I take take it back I have t I've taken many day jobs but uh, none permanent right permanent like prison so I took one after 9-11 because the economy was a wreck here in New York City and it took a long time to get that job and I am so absolutely grateful for that work. It was not my calling and it was not what I was supposed to be doing with the rest of my life and so I left it after I think three years and I went on to, I became a coordinator and a producer and all this films stuff, stuffs, right? But every now and then, those jobs would end and I would have to go back and use my skills and my skills happen to be as a very kick-ass administrative assistant. I've done graphic work, I've done editing work, but the administrative assistant stuff has kept me alive, right? Who wouldn't want me as their administrative assistant, <laughs> honestly. So I went on and did all this stuff. I've got a film that might be a musical and blah, 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 blah. And then I took another job and that was after my husband broke his neck and we didn't know if he would be able to go back to work. So I took another job and I am still so grateful for that company that did end up hiring me, uh, but it's time to leave. Why? Because I am committed to Ace Your Video, I'm committed to you, I'm committed to helping entrepreneurs, businesses transition into video it's so important now it's like even two months ago i probably wouldn't have touted how absolutely important it is as i am right now because it's you will get lost if you don't do it but you want to do it right you want to do it the right way of course efficiently you want to do it a high quality way live video is great you can kind of be oh my shirt's kind of wonky here i can see you can be a little bit of the hot mess if you want to but but truthfully, you need to be able to put your package together in a way that's going to reach your audience and it depends on who your audience is. You know, if your audience is just full of hot messes, then go right ahead. And if your audience are people who might want you to come across more professionally, then you need to do that too. So, uh, so that is my big news. I kind of lost my train of thought there, <laughs> but my big news is that I decided to commit 110% to ace your video. Now that doesn't mean my creative endeavors go to the side because part of me, part of who I truly am is this actress, this kind of, this not performer, but this person who wants to reach out to everybody and just go, you can do it. I'm like a terrier, right? Like wah, 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 you could do it. You could do it. That's me. I'm like the terrier cheerleader. 
right? The evangelist, I'm the video evangelist. Because truthfully, you can do this and you can do this well and I want all of my clients to get out there and beat the crowds and, you know, get your videos ranked on, on YouTube and, and Google. I'm gonna have a YouTube uh, TV show. This will probably move over there. Maybe I'll dual cast it. I don't know, I've got tons of ideas. But get out there with live video to start. If you're at all uncomfortable on camera, just do that because you've got friends, you've got family, they're gonna love you when it's over. It can even just be to communicate with them. Hi everybody, I'm, I haven't seen you in five years. Welcome to my live video, this is what I'm doing, you know? Which is probably how my mother feels watching this. So, all right, I'm just going to make sure there's no questions. I have left my day job in order to concentrate on this. And I'm in New York City, so if anyone is visiting New York, contact me online and I coach people privately uh, I also, I, the, my group course has already started, so that's closed, but I also do videos for you. I am a professional filmmaker and I make, uh, I red carpet your booty in New York City or in your location. So, so let me know. Okay, you guys, it's been wonderful. I'm going to go celebrate now and probably have dinner. <laughs> uh, leave comments below. Let me know what you'd like to hear about and let me know what you thought of this one. Welcome to Aceville. Oh, thanks for coming to Aceville. Have a good night.